Jean, can you tell us about Le Petit Sports? Well, Le Petit Sports is a new way to teach sports to children. And uh, it's, uh, it's a new way because we are using stories and image to reach the children's imagination and to make them enter into um, like an imaginary world where they're going to play sports um, without knowing that they are playing sports. Jean, why did you choose Henry Elkins, also known as Bijou, to do the videos? Oh yeah, choosing Bijou was, um, uh, well, it was natural. We, we have been thinking about, uh, uh, we have been talking to Bijou uh, for many years now and uh, talking about that, we knew that Bijou was the one and was the person, the perfect match to, uh, to play uh, the characters. We still didn't know how to integrate him into the, the whole concept, so we knew we needed him and uh, we, we didn't know uh, how and how to integrate him and his talents. How did you come up with the character of Star? Yeah, exactly. So we came up with the character of Star and just I think that character of Star was just uh, for Bijou. So it was, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, a way to integrate him. We, are, we found that at the end right away that I mean, we, 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 we created that character for Bijou. And so it was a perfect match because it, it sounded natural with the talents of, uh, of showman and of uh, entertainer that Bijou has and the, the way he acts and the juggling and the, the clown and, and that he's doing after watching his show for many, so many years, it sounded that it was exactly fitting. And when we created that star character, it was, uh, it was perfect because we, need, we needed a guide, somebody to guide the children into that magical world. And so that's how we got to, uh, to integrate the star character and to get Bijou into the star character. Bijou, was it difficult to switch from your usual character in order to play the role of star? Was it uh, difficult? Uh, no, actually it was rather um, natural. Um, the Bijou character is, is made uh, from someone who wants to uh, play tennis and uh, does everything wrong but it works and it's been uh, for the last 30 years kids of all ages have been uh, laughing and, and uh, learning through comedy uh, how to play tennis. Um, so far it's only been tennis. Uh, now I'm getting a little bit more into golf and to spo other sports with uh, Le Petit Sport. Bijou, where do you think that this project will take you? Well, after this video, uh, we're planning on uh, perhaps expanding the uh, knowledge of Le Petit Sport uh, and the techniques of Le Petit Sport uh, with all kinds of uh, different um, other videos that perhaps we are going to put together. So um, I think uh, Le Petit Sport and Bijou have, a, have a, a future. Bijou, what part of the video shoot was the most fun for you? Well, that's a tough question because uh, it was fun from A to Z. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, the imaginary world is always a lot of fun, especially if you take it so. Um, I think that, uh, I think just the, uh, the, the only part that wasn't fun was probably the dressing and undressing and the makeup and this and that, but everything else was wonderful. Jean, since the start of the concept in 2001, what elements have you changed? Yeah, actually we started in 2001 with a concept that was aimed at uh, globally at children under 8 years old. But finally we defined it to more uh, children from 3 to 6 years old with integrating stories and images and role play into uh, the different uh, missions and little games that we, uh, we had developed. And so uh, by doing that we reach a target age which really doesn't exist, is very difficult to teach. And so that, uh, this, th that was already a huge challenge because it, it, uh, it allowed us to, uh, to touch and reach out to a huge crowd of children. Uh, what the element that we changed also afterwards was uh, to, uh, to uh, expand it to other sports using the same techniques, same principles of reaching kids into their imaginary uh, world. And uh, it worked, it worked great. Um, actually, tennis is the most difficult sport uh, so that's why we are using all these things. In tennis it worked thanks to the image and uh, stories. In other sports it's a little bit more easy to, uh, to, to make children play these sports because the sport itself is easy. For example, soccer, you just put a ball uh, uh, down and you roll it, you know, it's, and you shoot it, it's, a, it's big like that, you're not going to miss. So that's why some of the sports are 
easy sports, I would say. Some others are more difficult to, um, uh, to, to do. And uh, one thing that we, uh, that we went through and evolved, uh, the, the element that evolved even uh, the last uh, few years, where uh, we integrated stories into the, um, the competition world of children over six. Because you have to know one thing, that uh, children over six years old need the competition. They need to compete, that's, that's in their genes. You know, at six years old, you start to need the competition. Under six, you only can reach children if you get into their world, meaning that it's only game-based. And so you cannot use competition. So that was a big thing. So after uh, we came back into our original um, uh, teaching plan of teaching tennis over six and integrated stories and role play but in, with a competitive uh, component uh, which is the treasure hunt of uh, year two of Le Petit Tennis. So it was an evolution because everybody was loved the Petit Tennis, the Petit Sports but everybody was saying what is next? Well now we have something next which is some stories based but in, inside a competitive component working amazingly and the children are uh, uh, just, um, just improving four times faster than uh, normal uh, lessons. So it's, it's kind of really um, moving inside, so we really, uh, we really appreciate and enjoy it. And we look forward to continuing. Gentlemen, thanks for your time. Thank you, Bijou. Thank you.